Legends and Planes. What's up guys, Jenks here with the PNP Update. In 2013, Kanye West revealed the cover art for his sixth solo album, Yeezus. But the cover was just a blank CD with this red tape on it. The art concept was no artwork at all. In his own words, Kanye said the album packaging was an open casket to CDs. Four years later, streaming is replacing the idea of owning physical music, and cover art often takes the form of low quality photos uploaded to SoundCloud. So it's worth asking, does cover art matter as much as it used to? Should we still care? In the 30s, a graphic designer at Columbia Records named Alex Steinweiss is credited for inventing album art as a way to help sell vinyl in record stores. But now that artwork is mainly seen on small digital screens, its original function is changing. After speaking with musicians, visual artists, creative directors, and ARs across the industry, it became clear to us that great artwork might actually be more important than ever before. Mialo Andich, designer of memorable covers like Little Yachty's Little Boat mixtape, explained the importance of having eye catching cover art in 2017. Since we're in a time right now where our attention spans are really low, we process music a lot faster. Uh, you have to make something that's going to catch people's eyes within seconds. They only have that amount of time to be instantly attached to what you create, and you have to either grab their attention or you lose them right away. Network doesn't just compete with other album covers at the record store, it also competes with every other meme on the timeline. To get attention above all this noise, the cover needs to be special and have the ability to connect on a larger level than just the music itself. That's where things get interesting. Memeable artwork like Drake's Views cover could take on a life of its own. Provocative artwork like Young Thug's Dress Wearing Jeffrey cover can spark far-reaching conversations and get the attention of listeners outside an artist's core fan base. For less established talents, artwork served as a valuable first impression. Creative director Carlin Ramang told us how important it was to roll out great visuals when he helped introduce Rory to the world in 2014. Everything from our perspective had to be perfect the first time. It was like, this is going to be the only time we'll be able to do this, so if this doesn't work, we're going to go back to working in a restaurant again. Having a strong visual identity and quality cover art from the very beginning gives young artists a leg up when it comes to getting signed as well. Now more than ever, labels are looking for musicians that have a clear vision. Zeke Hirschberg and A&R at 300 Entertainment had this to say. It's always about the music, but having a strong sense of a visual identity is part of being an artist, is part of being an entrepreneur, and that it, it really is a full package. So we don't really look to sign artists, we look to partner with entrepreneurs, because everybody sort of is making their own marketing decisions, and whether it's visual or cover art, everybody's making their own video decisions, their own A&R decisions. At no point did we sit down and say, Thug, you need to put on a dress. That's why Thug is who he is. In 2017, some of the most successful artists operate like brands. In addition to the music, they create whole worlds for their fans to live in and relate to. Kodak Black product manager Marsha St. Hubert explains it like this. To have visuals that really can help people see and understand your vision is priceless. Whether it's your merch or your videos or your album covers, they just want to consume every part of the artist. So it's like whether you have an animated character, whether your art is only in black and white, whether you're not included in your art, it just really shows the creativity and the depth of that artist. Little Yachty, who's been open about the fact that he actively thinks of himself as a brand, has been able to leverage his visuals into a dedicated fan base. What started with a little boat cover turned into a cohesive aesthetic that his fans gravitated to. The whole brand that we built in the last year, it's definitely its own little world. And within that world, you know, we have something that fans, they can feel like they're part of that community. They're going to remember that. You know, you're giving them an experience and they're going to take that away with them and they're going to keep coming back for more. Of course, to be effective, visuals need to be an extension of the artist's genuine personalities. Nothing forced. Kodak is a natural born character. Like, from the moment I met him, he has his own personality, his own vision, his own voice. Like when he recently came home, he just decided, I'm only wearing orange. Orange is my color, that's it. Everything's gonna be orange, that's my color now. I like the way it looks on my skin, it looks good with my gold, I'm wearing orange. Like everything else in music, the role of cover art has changed a lot over the years, but it's no less important than it ever was. In fact, in a crowded, fast-paced digital environment, the case could be made that strong cover art and a clear visual identity is more vital for an artist's success than ever. But what are your thoughts? Have you ever listened to an album just because the cover was cool? Have you avoided a project because of bad artwork? What's your favorite album cover of all time? Hit us up in the comments, let us know, and of course, subscribe.